Can he get the shot in? He can. Oh, he's won it right at the death. Rory Deacon with the goal. And Sutton United have become only the ninth non-league club to reach round five of the FA Cup. miles from the centre of London today. The National League club host Cheltenham Town struggling in League Two and very much cast as the full guys in this potential second round upset. Usual suspects lining up at the far post. Deacon there's a deflection on that. It made it difficult for the goalkeeper and it's got him for Cheltenham but it was one of those where the goalkeeper couldn't react he was waiting to see whether the final player was able to get something on it. He'll miss the clearance. Bailey got a toe to it. And a chance here for Tubbs. And he scores! 32 seconds into the second half. And the veteran striker has a goal on his Sutton United debut. Whatever Paul Doswell said to his players in the half-time interval, it's done the trick. That's for the last minute or so in the game, or unless the referee opts to play a little more. Here's Rory Deacon. Can he get the shot in? He can. Oh, he's won it! Right at the death. Rory Deacon with the goal. Only seconds left in the game. And Sutton United have surely booked themselves a place in the third round of the FA Cup. Momentary hesitation in the Cheltenham Town defensive ranks and it proved absolutely fatal. They thought the job was done, but somewhere underneath that bundle of players is the goal scorer, Rory Deacon. Sutton United are going back into the third round of the FA Cup for the first time in 23 years. Rory Deacon, match winner for the third round in a row. 96 minutes on the clock and Paul Doswell's team won it. A home tie against Championship Club Leeds United in the fourth round was on offer at the Cherry Red Record Stadium as AFC Wimbledon hosted Sutton United. The two had played out a nil-nil draw in the original tie, mustering only five shots on target between them. But it didn't take long for the chances to arrive this time around. AFC keeper James Shea on hand to deny Craig Eastman giving the National League side an early lead. There was an early goal though, and it came for the hosts. Tom Elliott nodding home Dean Parrott's free kick after only 10 minutes. But the League One side's hopes of reaching the fourth round for the first time since they were reformed in 2002 were dealt a blow when they were reduced to 10 men. Defender Paul Robinson pulled down Matt Tubbs after the Sutton striker burst through. Referee Chris Sarkinson reached for his back pocket to flourish the red cards. Wimbledon snapped a run of four games without a victory at the weekend, beating Oxford United 2-1. But with tired players all over the pitch, succumbed to Sutton's pressure late on. Former Arsenal trainee Rory Deacon levelling the tie with 15 minutes to go.
Sutton were held 2-2 in the FA Trophy at the weekend, denied by a late Worthing equaliser, meaning yet another game in their pack programme. And there was late drama here as well. Maxime Biamu tapping in from close range to put his side into the lead as the clock reached 90. The Dons had only been beaten at home once since October in all competitions, but couldn't conjure any more efforts. And in fact, there was further glory for the fifth tier side when Dan Fitchett superbly sealed the victory deep into stoppage time. An astonishing end to an incredible tie. Sutton, the lowest ranked side left in the competition, through to the fourth round to face Leeds. The joy on those people's faces and the joy on the players' faces, and uh, it's just something, you know, something, it's a day that will live me to the day I die. Enjoy your night, I'm sure you will. I'm going to, we're off to the club for a few drinks. It is a sellout crowd. People of all ages are here in this part of Surrey to see if Sutton United can dump out the mighty Leeds United from this season's FA Cup. And so it's Leeds United in the all-white strip, that famous all-white strip, third in the championship, who get us underway attacking the goal away to our right-hand side. And Spence thumping it forward, that's a decent delivery and Sutton might be in here, and Sutton are in here. Sutton United take the lead. Six minutes into the game, but he's offside, Rory Deacon. Well, he knows, but some of those supporters don't. Yeah, it's just a hopeful ball through, isn't it? As you saw, hopeful, it's a pretty precise one. Yeah, it's very, very tight, isn't it? But just leaning, I think. Mr. Kara. All given away carelessly. And it's Deacon now for Sutton, it opens up for him and Silvestri again with a fabulous save. And once again Rory Deacon, he's no invitation, just lets that ball run across his body, it's another su superb strike, similar sort of save. Bailey is back there to clear his lines for Sutton, long ball downfield, Biamo chasing, Silvestri came a long way out, an almighty collision and there's a shout there for a penalty and it's given! Stuart Atwell points to the spot, it's calamitous defending, first by Silvestri and then by the covering defender and Sutton United sense that the door has just opened wide. Oh, what a moment for 32 year old Jamie Collins against Marco Silvestri, the Italian has been in fine form so far between the sticks but he will take his share of the blame for conceding that penalty. Some asking divine intervention. Jamie Collins for Sutton, scores! Sutton United take the lead! Are oh, the non-leaguers going to do it again? Shades of 1989 as one of their defenders puts them in front at that end of the ground. Bedlam all around Gander Green Lane. It's Sutton United 1, Leeds United 0. This is as cool as you like from the captain, isn't it? It's a little luck, waits for the goalkeeper. And he sends it into the corner. Even if Silvestri goes the right way, that would have been a tough one to stop. Just adding to the tension, Stuart Atwell. But it can't be long now. Indeed it is, and there goes the whistle. Paul Doswell has created history for non-league Sutton United. For the first time in their history, they're through to the last 16 of the FA Cup. What a marvellous story. Sutton United have got the better of high-flying Leeds United of the Championship and Sutton United, courtesy of that penalty in the second half from their captain, Jamie Collins, have become only the ninth non-league club to reach round five of the FA Cup. Here they come, if ever a tie summed up the true essence of the FA Cup, it is surely this one. Sutton 17th in the National League, Arsenal 4th in the Premier League, 105 places on the English league ladder separate them. Lucas Perez. And that's crept in. The run of Wilcott was off footing for the goalkeeper. Lucas Perez accepts the acclaim. 
And after a slightly nervy start, it is the Premier League side who take the lead at Gander Green Lane. Here's Monreal. And steered in by Theo Walcott. Who is now an Arsenal Centurion. His 100th goal for the club on his 380th appearance. His first one came in a League Cup final. The one to bring up three figures in rather less impressive but no less important surroundings. There's Deacon. Ospino was barely moving. And that could have been Sutton's route back into the tie. Journey's end for non-league Sutton, but what a journey it's been. And the 12 times FA Cup winners, Arsenal, go through to this season's quarter-final. Warm congratulations between the two sets of managers and coaches. Full-time at Gander Green Lane, Sutton United nil, Arsenal 2.